Okay. You've been exposed anyway. Keep it together. Someone out there? Help me! Please! What's going on here? Why are you people in capsules? They've locked us in. Those bastards. We're not even sick. Let us out. How do I open the capsules? I think there's a control room nearby. Just follow the light. I'll do what I can. If you can't help me, please. My son is still out there. His father has gone insane, delirious. I'm afraid he might do something to our boy. You can't let that happen. If I can find him, I'll get him out. Thank you. You've always been such a good boy. What did you say?
must have been a misunderstanding. I was told you decided not to undergo the augmentation procedure. Yes. Just to be clear, you do realize that that drastically decreases your chances of recovery? I... I made my decision. Thank you. Honey, I'm proud of you. You can do this. I know you can. I'll be there for you. You owe me this much. Promise me you'll take care of him. Whatever it takes. wrong and she said the doctors could cure her but she wasn't sure she wanted them to it's not that simple that what the doctors wanted to do there was a, a heavy price to be paid she wouldn't be herself she wouldn't be your mom anymore that's not what i'm asking i want to know did mom decide for herself did she really want this? Of course she did. Your mother believed she was strong enough to beat this thing on her own. I did too. But she wasn't. I just wanted her to be alright. Why don't you save her? Very weak. Please make this brief. Dad, it's it's pretty bad. They need to replace a few parts. Don't. Oh. Whoa. Easy there. Listen. It's either this or spend the rest of your life in a fucking jar. hypocrite and you don't even see it. I thought I was right. Didn't know any better. You stood on principle when it was her life on the line. But when it comes to saving yourself, you're pragmatic all of a sudden? I had to take care of you. I made a promise to her. No! You don't get to use her as an excuse! Not after what happened. What did you want me to do? Give up. That's what you made her do. Every time I look at you, I see this monster that killed my mom.
your way here. Now let me in. Let you in? What about the lockdown? The virus? The virus will get to me no matter what. Here, or out in the web. It's only a matter of time. You need a place to hide. I need a host. A unique specimen. Attached from the web at large. The lockdown was just an excuse to get me. Why lie? Look, what else could I do? They had you so looped in your repressed memories, I had to break you out somehow. Now that you're finally free, we can beat this thing. A host? I guess that's supposed to be me. Yes. The observer's mind is isolated. Detached from the grid. It's the only place where I can hide. Fortress that the virus won't be able to penetrate. Let's say I let you in. Then what? Oh, it's amazing. Our minds will merge. Merge? Yeah. It might sound weird, but our minds kind of hook up. We plug into each other. Sorry, you lost me. You are losing it. Your sanity's hanging by a thread, Dad. But I can help you regain control of your senses. We can help each other. There must be another way. There isn't. It's up to you. Save us both. Or leave me to die and go on with this fever dream of existence. Either way, since tonight, I'm growing weaker by the second. Soon, I won't be able to maintain a connection. after iteration, laid to waste in pursuit of his grand design. Why should one more make a difference? You're fucking unreal. He was my son. I am your son. So what if he had the real body? You're clinging to a version of me that hated you. As if that was all that made him. Me. Your son. The splicer was breathing down my neck. You sent him. Appreciate it. He was never supposed to go after you. But the drugs and the paranoia took over. After that, he went full on fair. The mind is not the toy. Ironic. Coming from an observer. Why did the others have to die? I couldn't let any word of this reach Kylo. They would stop at nothing to track me down. Way to cover your ass. Think of me what you will. But you know the corporation. They would claim this gift for themselves. I want to share it with the world. I regret what I had to do. But it was necessary evil. Why? Why did you kill him? I had no choice. Kill or be killed. The virus. Adam said it loose. He figured out how dangerous you are. Maybe. Or maybe he realized he had succeeded. He created the superior version of himself. And it terrified him. So what the hell makes you better? He was driven by hatred. Obsessed with the idea of not becoming you. He never came to understand. 
But I did. Just help me out, man. You're losing me. We're all freaks of nurture, Dad. Your choices, your mistakes, they were all unavoidable. You can't blame us for what we are. I'm tired. Let's get this over with. Very well. If you think you're ready to make your choice, will you let your son die? Or will you save me? My son is gone. I'm not sure anymore who or what you are. But you will pay for what you did. That's... disappointing. I was hoping we could do this the easy way. But... since you failed to see reason, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to... insist. And what? Break into my brain? What do you think I've been doing for the past hour? I've been chipping away at you ever since you got into that capsule. You're breaking my heart, asshole. No, Dad. Just your mind. I didn't want to do this, but you gave me no choice. I want to live. Forever in a day. Go to hell. After you. This way. You see, without a willing host, I need to force you out. Fortunately, I have found a better place for you. Sorry, Dad. The lockdown has now been lifted. Thank you for your cooperation. Here you are. The situation is under control.
breathing? Wait, checking. <laughs> 